What's going on guys and welcome back to the most spectacular read through of all times. I am the big cliche. I am big uh, Papa Pump without the pump. I am the rock that is never hard. King Kong got a lot on me. I am Chi B R Terabyte Reacts And I would just like to say You're welcome Welcome back guys once again to another chapter In This beautiful manga Called Berserk Today we are tackling Volume 17 And boy was the last volume very entertaining we got guts versus rosine and we got a conclusion of that and also now that he's you know being kind of detained by um you guys said this is one of your favorite characters in the series um so we gonna see how that plays out so um yeah so as always man you know what we gonna do we gonna do a quick recap of volume 16 and then we'll move on to the volume of the day it's a quick rundown of volume 17 so let's switch over to that let's get our setup going here where is this thing? all right so that's off display man hope you guys are doing good out there no pandemic and stuff i just finished doing ipo guys so my everything is kind of out of sorts right now i gotta do setup <laughs> whatever man yes i have to do setup right now okay Okay? Yeah. Alright, let's do this. Alright, so we got... Of course, I would start it off with um, the peoples that were looking for guts. What's their name? Farnese or whatever. Right? They're hunting him down. Hunting him down while... <laughs> Guts is over here trying to um, get through to get to um, Rosine. Finally got there. I mean, it was a it was a good fight, but I kind of felt sorry for Rosine at the end because all she wanted to do is just go back home. She felt like she she built an empire basically. So it looks like demons actually took over that forest, you know what I mean? You know, and she just happened to go there, you know. So when it comes when it comes on to to Rosine, man, she is it's a sad case. It's just a sad case. Um, in my opinion, I don't think she was a disciple. Um, I don't think she was a disciple. I think she was just evolved in some way as a demon, you know. So, fight went on. Got, um, Jill crying. You know, trying to cry out to Rosine. There was there was a lot going on, man. Thing that coming out of the hat cell was humans. They were turning into, you know, elves. 
well, evil elves, demon elves, really. And a lot of you guys asked me, actually, if I thought that Guts would kill Jill if he wasn't stopped, if he wasn't, sh if he didn't get shot by the old man, right? If he would have killed Jill. And I, I, I honestly feel, you know, I... I don't know. I don't know what to think at this moment when it comes on to, to Guts because Guts is a character. He's a very complicated character. It's very hard to to pin him down to a, a certain way. He's not a Naruto. He's not a... He's not... Um, Naruto is not necessarily one-dimensional as a character. He's not one-dimensional even though you have people that say he's very one-dimensional. He's not. And I'm going to tell you guys why Naruto is a complicated he is a complicated character because you don't understand you 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 really can't comprehend until the end of the series you really didn't comprehend if you actually look at it at face value if you took if you took somebody and showed them how naruto felt during the first sasuke ver versus naruto fight right let them watch those two fights to the end and watch the second one to the end could they really tell you even before the second fight could they really tell you like why is he so upset with sasuke like if you watch that first one you probably think naruto is probably gay or something you get what i'm saying but nobody truly understood why you get what I'm saying? Even before that first fight, you never understood why. You know what I'm saying? He kept saying, because you're my friend, because you're my friend. But none of us in real life can relate to that because we not go in that, those lens for anybody. You get what I'm saying? You're not going that lens for, for anybody. Whether the, those circumstances happen in real life or not, you get what I'm saying? If somebody deserts you, you're not going out of your way regardless of who they are you're not going out of your way to, to to drag them back to reality not many people is doing that let me say that let me say not anybody is doing that because they you know there are people out there like after i watch naruto that completely changed my idea of friendship i'm not even going to kidding even though i had a pretty good idea on on, on what friendship is and how I would treat friends and, and stuff like that. Like Naruto just brought a whole new perspective to me after watching the complete thing. So it's kind of like even throughout when he was looking for Sasuke, looking for Sasuke, begging for them to take off the, the, the you know, the assassination um, order off of him, the cloud village and all of this other stuff. Like you see the progression of a very complicated and hard to understand character because you don't really know you know what he's about but you don't really understand why he's like that you get what i'm trying to say um in this when it comes on to berserk the reason why i i i resonate with this one with with, with berserk so much not only is guts complicated he's complicated in a different way as in his actions the way how he speaks when he speaks when he shows emotions all of these little things like you always can you kind of can put naruto in a box you cannot put guts in a box and that's what makes him different so with me like i couldn't tell you i can't guess what he would have done in that situation if he would have cut both of them in two he probably would have i wouldn't put it past him you get what i'm saying because i don't know I don't think he believes he's even human anymore so at this point you know what i'm saying he's saying i gotta do what i gotta do to exterminate these dudes so i can get to this griffith dude that did all this stuff to Casca and all listen man listen this man is on a mission okay and he's highly unpredictable on what he's gonna do i don't think he wants any friends He's just here to destroy shit. Yes, he has his ideals, but those ideals are what make him do something or not do something. So you never know. 
you know what I'm saying? It's hard to figure out a, a, a character um, that's like this, and that's what makes it such a great story. Badass moment right here. He took that shit. It was like, woo, splitter. She took a huge hit there. Right? So, yeah, man. And the dad. Oh. It was nice to know, though. You know what I mean? Like. And Jill jumped over her. Right. Would he have done it? It looked like he was he didn't care. You know what I'm saying? But he got hit. He got interrupted. <laughs> like, rescue the children. <laughs> like, you know. Cause they don't know really about him, you know what I mean? So, you know, after that, it was very, very um. I can't leave things, I just can't this way. Um, Jill wanted to go with him and basically from from all of that what I what I understood from that is basically Guts is trying to tell her, you don't wanna be a part of this world. You may think you're safe with me, but you're not gonna be. You get what I'm saying? So even after that you can say that's what I'm saying, like you would think it's better to tell people the truth than to actually bring her into a world where you know she's not going to be safe with you you get what i'm saying so in terms even though i would have loved to see her see her with him at the same time it's just not it's just not it's, it's like there's no paradise for you to escape to. They, they, you know if you you think with me you're going to experience paradise because you want to get away from you know what i'm saying your village and your dad and all of this other stuff but the paradise ain't with me if there is a paradise it's not with me and i'm glad that he was real with her about that you know what i'm saying so i like that i really did so let's jump in here All right so we got that this part was very confusing because they showed the skull knight right they showed the skull knight the struggler footprints on his path it seems it still has been forsaken by evil fortune but for a person following this path, it leads through an overly cruel night. Can a man continue to walk this path? I, I don't know. I, I believe he was on the trails of guts. It seems like he's followed him. And then he swallowed the behemoth. That makes no damn sense to me why he did that. You know, and guts is always being tormented. You know what I mean? always been tormented and you know puck saves his life again he gets captured blah blah, blah. uh he did kill a couple of them though a few of them right dude almost got his shit knocked in right and they brought out what's his name again What's this guy's name again? Azan. <laughs> Azan Zarazan. He's honorable though. He was honorable during the fight. You know, but he ran for the queen. Um, yeah. Guts headed for the queen and almost took her out. He almost, I think he hesitated or something. Let me see, what happened again? She closed her eyes, bro. This this is the thing that I don't understand. And it's I mean, she is nothing compared to Casca. How does this happen in the history of history? How do things like this happen? And it seems like it's a common thing that used to happen back in the past where people end up in leadership positions. I mean, is I mean, most of the time it's because of nepotism because she has no business leading nobody. She literally closed her eyes and, and thrust her sword. Like, what are you doing on the battlefield? You know what I'm saying? You don't have the guts to take a life. But you out here. You know what I'm saying? Don't have the guts to take a life, but you out here. You know what I mean? 
So he got captured and some very interesting conversation went on between him and, um, you know, yeah, interesting conversation that went on between them. And I think she's, you know, she's super religious. You know, and it's kind of like, you know, it, it's weird sometimes. It, it, it is weird when you talk to regular people about God. It is weird because they can't see it. And the thing about it is that people like to see physical manif manifestation of things. So when you tell people about your faith and all this stuff, a lot of people are not going to, they're not going to believe it. It's like, where's this God? A lot, where's this God? You know what I'm saying? So Gus just finds that very interesting. You know, she kept beating him and stuff like that. Um, she didn't case, care. He didn't care. So they lock him up. And that's the end of that. All right. So let's bring up. Uh, yeah. So let's bring up 17. All right, and let's get into it, man. I am ready. I gotta wait until it loads. Um, this is one of the best mangas that I've ever read. You know what I mean? I haven't read a ton, but I have read a lot. <laughs> right. So, what's this image? Ooh, that's a very distinct image. Weird. All right. So we got ourselves. Wow, it's 11 chapters. Is it? Yes, 11 chapters. So we're going into Binding Chain chapter now. This ain't good. Right? Look like, you know, demons are always lurking around, Guts. Wow, they got him. What? They got my nigga outside. My guy, sacrifice, Sac you know, that's always a, the demon saying sacrifice, caged and swordless, and the shape I'm in, what do I do? Here I am, Zupai, Zupai, Prov Provincial Zupai, what does Zupai mean? I don't know what that is. I don't know why. Why is Puck calling God Zupai? Swift hero, Zupak. <laughs> is he calling himself Zupai? I, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's still around. <laughs> I've come to rescue you, Guts. Here, escape with these keys. Good. Let me out. Uh, what about thank you? So what? For every little thing, even good friends show courtesy. Look, don't think that just because you've settled in a guy's bag, you can... Then I shall return these stealing these. Stealing is wrong after all. It's like, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Thank you. I'll 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 um I'll ring him later. No, <laughs> what is that ring or I guess that's ring. I'll ring him later. Very much. Oh great puck. <laughs> Thank you very much, oh great puck. <laughs> it's like telling puck what he wants to hear. Ah, I can't hear you. <laughs> Thank you very much, oh great puck. Just pinch and twist. If I must, I must. Such a bother. First aid first. All right, so he gets out of the cage. Sneaked behind the cage. Sacrifice, sacrifice, sacrifice. <laughs> I'll put the hurt on this garbage. Forget about it. The night timers are a lot different from the day timers. Why didn't you tell me? If I don't hurry, I'll lose any chance to get away. What to do? Anyway, got to get my gear back. That's my only outfit. But all my weapons are in that bitch's tent. Perfect. I'll take her hostage if I gotta. I knew it. He's getting too used to this. <laughs> no guards. So he pulls up on the tent. There's no guards at the tent. Oh! 
Oh, damn. She out here naked. Well, not naked. This it looks like she has. Oh, that must be. It looks like she has pants on. But she. Why the hell is she whipping herself? Who does this remind you of? Who used. I just was watching a TV show and somebody was whipping themselves. Yes, it was Vikings. It was in Vikings. Um, Aether Wolf, I think it was, right? If I'm, I think it was Aether Wolf that was whipping himself for this very same thing. The, the Christian belief, is this a thing from back in the day? Is this must be something from back in the day where sinners would whip themselves or some shit like that. When they commit sins, they punish themselves and shit like that's crazy, man. She's whipping herself, bro. What have we here? <laughs> Dear God, please guide me. <laughs> That's the guts is standing over her. She looks back. She gets up. Mm, you. <laughs> Knocks her out. <laughs> so easy. Oh, man. Charming, huh? Get his shit on. You are badly injured. If you push yourself, you'll reopen your wounds. Not quite up to snuff. Lady Fornice, trouble? The Black Swordsman is your, your... Get punched in the face. <laughs> Brutal. Now then, looks like I gotta take her after all. Oh, damn. Wait, look here. Whoops. Don't you forget this. How rude... To my bitch, bitch. Wait, look here. Whoops. Don't you forget this. How rude to my bitch. Fire. It's Lady Farnese's tent. The Black Swordsman escape. All forces arise. The flames will spread to other tents in this wind. <laughs> How about clearing the way, pal? You think you can escape in your condition? Uh, we'll see. <laughs> Lady Farnese, how did you... Who says only clergy... Uh, who says only clergy can burn someone alive? Just watch. I'll light her ass on fire. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> He'd do it too. Taking a woman hostage? Despicable. We have no choice. Everyone stand back. Much obliged. So... Looks like he's about to grab a horse. No, he's he's light. He lit the horse's tails on fire. Yo, why guts? <laughs> why? How could you? Don't sweat it. Don't sweat it. Quickly, gather up the horses. A colossal blunder for me. We cannot let him escape this way. Who goes? the hell is this guy oh this is the guy from yeah i swear you aren't human this time you've gone too far setting horses on fire who do you have to thank for having run this far a horse <laughs> then apologize to the horse sorry horse <laughs> so long as you <laughs> yo shoes on the other foot now Don't struggle. If you fall on these rocks with your hands and feet bound, you're dead. Don't worry. We're not gonna eat you or nothing. Oh, I'm Puck. Mm -hmm. Let me off, you bastard. If you think you'll get away with, with treating me the leader of the Holy Iron Chain Knights like this. Like, shut up. If you keep yapping, I'll have to knock you out again. Sorry, but you're with me for a bit. There are things I need to ask you. It's a disgrace. That this apostate could let me off. Damn it. I'd rather fall and die than be subject to your will. Hey, yeah. Oh, she's actually fallen. He's like, come on, guys. <laughs> she's actually falling. He's like, I'm about to take a dive. He's like, It's like, now you better calm down some. He's like, oh. Whoa, nice flying. Ain't there any love in this man? Nope. I'm so sorry. 
miss my I'm so sorry, miss my teachings hardly reach him. Um I'm Puck. I'll get him. Burn him at the stake. Trying to get her attention, but she <laughs> like, stop making a fool of me. What are you doing? Does she can't see him or something? She doesn't see, huh? She's not trying to. When it comes to me, to Els, she doesn't perceive us. Oh, that's kind of weird, though, that she's like, she's so not, maybe she thinks she's hallucinating seeing Puck, so she's not responding to him. Oh, damn, my guy's out here with the crossbow about to, oh, uh, did you feel that? All them demons around you? I know you felt it. <laughs> Anyways, all them demons interrupted him. Are they protecting guts? That's weird. What was that? I don't know either. Doesn't perceive them. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, how should I explain it? What was that? I just got a message. My mother. I'm just checking something in. Oh, Slick Daddy. <laughs> That's funny. My mom just sent me a picture of my dad. <laughs> Looking like a damn pimp. Anyways, how should I explain it? For instance, when humans notice something, it says in their memory. But if it's something they don't care about, they don't remember, do they? What? For instance, when humans notice something, it stays in their memory. But if it's something they don't care about, they don't remember, do they? Okay, that makes sense. Sometimes people don't notice an elf right in front of them since it doesn't capture their attention. They can't even recall it happening. Yeah, it's kind of a complicated explanation, but um, you're literally right there. How does she not compute? That's That's the problem. Like, yeah, if you register something as, if you feel like, that shouldn't exist. It's going to be unbelievable, but you're still going to react. So her not reacting to something right in front of her, touching her damn lips, is that's an issue. That's like you're not acknowledging um, an hallucination. If an hallucination is there, it's an hallucination. You can choose to ignore it. If you're hallucinating, you can choose to ignore the hallucination, which it probably won't go away. But at the same time, you still kind of acknowledge that the hallucination is there. So, that's, I don't know. That's maybe some mental shit that I don't understand. So, why though? Don't know. It doesn't make much sense to me either. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. For some reason, lots of priests are like that. Not so much in rural chapels, but when I go in big cathedrals, I'm, I'm not seeing too much. Why does he keep mumbling to himself? And like... In big cities so she still doesn't register that he's talking to to puck it's either she can't see him but it's not I don't think it's what puck is explaining the old fortune teller lady from the entertainer troupe said uh what was it oh yeah those who cling to the rigid world don't perceive elves okay rigid world huh even so, being ignored peeves me. Time for some fun. Tickle in her ear. <laughs> He's like, quit that. <laughs> it's like touching my back. Guts. I know. Here they come. My men. No, not your men. Demons. <laughs> huh? Do you perceive that? <laughs> huh? All right. What? It's too dark to see. Will I last till morning? What's going on? Is she perceiving that? Oh, they're touching your cheeks, girl. <laughs> oh. They're... Ah. Keep your eyes open. Watch. You won't see this. Praying to idols. God's putting on a show for us. A miracle on earth. <laughs> Alright, we're going to take a pause here.
come back for the next part. All right. Oh, crap. If I keep swinging this, the horse won't be able to take it. So, ah, she's trying to run now. <laughs> Struggling, you'll fall off. Ah, oh, damn, she's falling off and Guts catches her again. The, the, that horse went bye-bye. And she's like, why? I told you, I've got questions. I can't have you busting your head on a rock. Questions? You're going to tell me why you people follow me around. Hmm. In your dreams, I have nothing to say to an apostate like you. Oh, we got these dogs. Wild dogs? I don't have time to mess with them right now. Want me to talk to him? Okay. Oh, these demons out here killing the dogs. Ah. ah. Oh, damn. Oh, did they possess them? Oh, crap. They possessed the shit out of those dogs. I take that back. Sacrifice. No way. Something like this can't happen. That's why it's called a miracle. Okay. So God takes out the dogs. Flesh. Give flesh. Oh, damn. <laughs> he just pounds him in the head. Why shy away at the good part? If you're so spiritual, you could at least give me one of those lines. Like, Dear God! <laughs> Oh my god. Guts is so. is humorous. <laughs> I've had my fill of miracles enough to make me puke. Past and future. I don't understand. I can't process anything. Only that I am filled with fear. And not even words of prayer come to mind. Not even words of prayer. Ah, man. Is he cutting off the heads and they're growing back heads? It seems. That's crazy. Ugh. Yeah, you processing that real good now. <laughs> uh, must escape from here. From this nightmare. Ah, she sees the horse. If I can ride that, I'm saved. I order you, allow me to mount you, then run quickly. This... Farnies, what is wrong with you? Oh, damn. <laughs> damn, damn. What? No. No. <laughs> oh, my God. They possess the horse, too. Oh, dang. I mount the woman. <laughs> Oh, damn, damn, he out here licking the titties and all. Damn, no. Oh, damn, he about to go in? What the hell? You about to get raped by a horse, a demon horse, bruh. Far knees. Oh, damn, who is, oh, shit, what? 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 Oh, that's Griffith. Oh, 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 it's freaking... It's um, Guts having a flashback. Guts is having a flashback. Oh my god, he went savage mode. Oh shit. How can he? He took the head off. He's on oh, what? Bro, he almost took her head off too. Bro, what? He had a quick flashback moment there. <laughs> I was like, whoa. It's like, boom. Almost cut her head off too. Is like, but he. It looked like he got hurt though. Did he get scratched or something? He's like, hey, huh? If you don't want to die, quit wandering around. <laughs> All right. <laughs> He's opened his wounds again, fighting so recklessly. 
but there's an unstoppable, terrible rage swirling inside Guts, more so than usual. Why? Because that flashback, man, he remembers seeing Casca getting raped by freaking Griffith, man. It's crazy. Anyways, let's move on. So we got Guts. All right, we got Guts here. What was that? <laughs> I won't bother to shield my wounds. I don't care if my arms torn off. Thanks to you all's stupid tricks, this vivid sentiment remembered after so long. This feeling that started it all. Thank you. It's the worst I ever feel. You'll all keep dying until the day breaks. Ooh. All right, so finally over. Somehow, as he sat beneath the brightening sky, panting like a beast, splattered with the blood of his prey, the image touched me. It was both, it was both solemn and beautiful, almost like a painting adorning a basilica. Is it basilica? Yeah, basilica. I merely sought to escape, shivering in fear. Not once could I call upon my Lord. I avow myself a woman of God, but not even the name I've invoked a countless thousand times. I, in the shade of the morning sky, I was tiny, wretched, and powerless. Powerless. Are the powerless then without sin? Don't lie, don't deceive, don't delude yourself with fear words. It insists it exists it exists within you, yet you cannot reveal it. Dark, dark desire. No, even plugging your ears is futile, because this is your inner voice. You felt it then. Then while you thrashed that man's steel physique, you know you felt it. It swells within you, this morbid lust. And then, as the blood trickled from his unflinching form, no, a wave of pleasure filled you. I don't want to hear this. <laughs> that is not all. When you lashed yourself feigning introspection, you were constantly discovering pleasure, even within that pain. So, okay, so Farnese is a, she's a, um... <laughs> she loves the whips, you know what I'm saying? She loves the whips, yeah. I don't remember what they call it again. Um, is it is it masochism? I I don't remember. Is it fem? No, nah, femdom is is um is female domination with with a dude. So maybe I mean in a way it's kind of femdom, but yeah. Fainted, yeah, it's kind of like feminine, but you simply lie to your own soul from behind from behind your religion and devote your body to shameful pleasure. That is you. Oh, damn. That's not true. I there is nothing at all inside you. What things you can boast of to yourself and others are trifling. You're an insignificant woman because you fear knowing you're nothing. You're just drunk on God's authority. Oh, damn, you grab a titty from the back like that? Oh, damn, all that exists within you is desire. You want to defile and be defiled, yourself and others, body and soul. Just such a dark, dark desire. Inside here, there is no God. Only this Aiken is truth. Only this Aiken is truth. Only this Aiken is truth. So basically, like you being horny, that's the truth. <laughs> that is the truth. Okay. 
You want pleasure. Give yourself to it. For you, it's the only thing. Why am I moving my entire screen? <laughs> For you. Only this Aiken is true. Truth. You're, give yourself to it for you. It's the only sure thing. You're too far from God. Oh, damn. She gonna walk up to Guts with the thangy thang hanging out? She's like, hey. What is she about to do right now? <laughs> oh. She not wasting no time. She like, I need, I really love this pleasure. I love to see the blood. What's like, what's the big idea? She likes blood, bro. God, she's yeah. Been possessed. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. I think she just wants the D. <laughs> she just wants the D man, but she likes blood. Oh, damn. Oh, hell no. She doesn't. She just sat on the sword. Like what? Bruh, what? Don't mess up the pom pom. Now come, come on now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Everybody's like, um, what is her problem? She's got serious issues, bro. Gut. No wonder this is probably y'all favorite character in the damn series. No wonder, guts. What strength? Lift it up. Lift the sword up slowly. Oh my god, this girl. No wonder this is y'all favorite character. I, I totally understand why this is one of y'all favorite character in the damn series. Savor it with me. This pleasure. Now. Split me open. Oh my god, I, I am done with this damn series, bro. <laughs> Listen, man, I like to be, I'm uh, probably sharing too much right now. I like to be the dominator, you know what I'm saying? During my explicit sessions, you know what I mean? I like to be the dominator, but I don't think I could ever, like, if a woman approaches me like this and she wants to do shit like this, like, this is just... It's too much. It's too much. I would probably run out of the room. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Like, you know, you have men out there that, you know, they enjoy, you know, femdom, you know, female domination. They they love that shit. They love when women tie them up and do all kinds of shit to them. Like me, no. Nah, I like to be in the dominating position. I don't know how they do it. But that's what they're attracted to. So I'm not knocking that. I know some people is going to be like, you should try it. I'm like, no, nah, no, no. <laughs> I do not want to be in a vulnerable state during my explicit sessions. Okay. I do not want to be in a vault in, in, in a vulnerable state. Okay. I like to be in control. You know what I'm saying? Like you, I, it should be male domination. I should be in the position to do whatever I want to do. As long as it's, as long as you're okay with it, you know what I'm saying. As long as the woman I'm with is okay with it, I'm good. But you're not gonna get to be in control of me. You're not gonna handcuff me to no bed. Uh uh, I will freak the fuck out. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Split me open slowly. Of course, guts is not going to do that. Hell with it. I'll knock her out again. Right. So, was it, you know, um, all right, so she's, she was possessed, and now it looks like it, the, the demon left out of her, and she, look, if you're back to normal, then get the hell off me. She starts to cry. I think you should be careful. You are sitting on a sword. <laughs> you know? Oh. <laughs> Dude passed by. Saw what's going on. Okay. Picks her up. Okay. Can you stand? Kill him. You will kill that man. 
here immediately for the sake of my honor. Kill him! Lady Farnese, please calm down. That would be, well, unwise in any case. I do not know what happened, but it's not our duty in the first place to apprehend him. To forfeit that for momentary feelings, it doesn't matter. Kill him! To be honest, that is not possible for me. You saw it, Commander. It's superhuman strength. I would only die in vain. Oh, damn. She just slapped him across the face. It's like, ah, Commander. Oh, uh, nosebleed. Oh, nosebleed. Oh, he has a nosebleed. It's like, again, you have caused her to cry. My Commander. It's like, don't look at me. You just heard the situation. And here I will ask your part pardon for now. If you would be willing to overlook things. I guess I owe you one then. Yes, well, uh, whatever. Oh, damn. I know this dude did not go after Guts. Oh, damn. He... Okay. Nice draw style. You as well. Just as I suspected. It was just a graze, too. So on that note, until we meet again, I've done what I meant to do. Hey, farewell for now, you too, little one. Hell of an exit. So he noticed Puck. Okay, he noticed Puck. Yeah, he's tricky. But you know, she seems kind of sad, that Farnese person. It's like she's bound on all sides. I'm the one who's bound up, moron. Now I've got even more to worry about. From dead spirits to priests, what a pain. Speaking of which, we forgot to ask why they're trying to catch you. And that image I got from Guts before, what was it? Commander, please wait, I must kill him. Must kill him, must kill him, must seal his lips. If he, if he's allowed to live, then I... The people saw it in their sleep. There was a kingdom of villages dying out from plague, routed by an army driving mammoth beasts. There was a city devastated by earthquake, towns swallowed by raging torrents. There was a sun obscured by black smoke and mobs of starving, vagrant folk. There were the corpses of both family and neighbor. Each event occupied individually, yet confirmed upon one idea. Each night and utter darkness fully enveloped their world. Then amid such discord, they caught sight of it. A single shining hawk Sundering the thick darkness, alighting upon the blood-stained land. They believe instinctively this was their desire. Western Midland. Okay. What a dreadful sight. Okay, we got, seems like we got some new characters. During times of war, the stone and lumber in this area was cut and quarried in mass to build forts and the like. All that remains are beer mountains. But still, this rain. I do look forward to some strong drink at the inn this evening, Lord Laban. Hey. From people walking on the street. Okay. Look like a mom and children, a dad. All right. We got some people walking here on the street. Look like they're passing the soldiers or whatever. That was rash of me. Please forgive me, oh God. Whatever the case, why this large crowd? I do not know. They seem to be coming from the town ahead. It's a landslide. The ground was loosened by the rain. All forces halt. All security forces dismount. Rescue our subjects. Follow me. Heavens, your excellency. From mere peasants to personally excellency? 
Ah, very well then. Hop to it. Follow General Laban. Hey, hang on. Hmm? So he's trying to save them. Cause it looked like they fell down somewhere. There, you're safe now. What in? Why do they look like that? Adjutant, take care of this mess. Should you finish the work before I return, have all forces stand by and keep the peasants here too. Meaning what, Excellency? Where are... I'll return soon. Put the wounded in the covered wagon and treat the peasants to something warm. Excellency, I'm borrowing this. Don't tell me this is... Okay, so he looked like he's rushing back to somewhere. So rats are the only things left. Oh, damn. What happened here? The plague, then, as I feared. Confounded rats. Now that their food supply is swollen, they've got big and fat. They come from the devil. They done brought this plague here. It's since these rats started growing in numbers so much that the plague spread through this town. Grim little reapers. Well, I say that, but they came to the town because people left the hills bald and took away their food and homes. Mayhaps we reap what we sow. You won't leave the town, old one. I don't care to desert this town at my age. My whole family's dead anyways. You'd best be off now before death haunts you too, Sir Knight. Waving your sword around will do no good in these parts. It isn't just this town. I've seen the same kind of spectacle throughout the kingdom. Plague, famine, mercenary bands turned robbers. Such a dark shadow, no co shadow now covers all of Midland. No, it's not just limited to this kingdom. Is this the price of a hundred years of war? Maybe. It's a vexing time. It's vexing. A time like this is precisely when the entire kingdom's efforts must be devoted to rebuilding. Yet, over seven-tenths of the military have spent two years searching for a criminal we're not even certain still lives. The state his majesty is in, what is it? What on earth happened that day two years ago? Those eyes, surely they are a madman's. Yeah, because, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm pretty sure they're talking about, I'm, if I'm not, if I'm mistaken, correct me. But I think they're talking about that dude, that king, that, you know, locked up Griffith for sleeping with Charlotte and all this other stuff. I'm pretty sure that's the king. Because we are in Midland, so I'm guessing that that's the king they're talking about. Alas, the search has exceeded its purpose. But this kingdom-wide desolation is a fact. To say this crisis will decide all our fates is no exaggeration. A darkness that covers the world, I suppose that was a revelation. If it was, then that hawk of light... Could be Griffith. If the dream is a revelation, what does that part signify? To me, at least what a hawk symbolizes. No. For all the people of Midland, there's but one and no other. It may be absurd, but when you think of it such, even this search that seems meaningless. Excellency, can be, can be seen to possess some sense of purpose. Seems meaningless. Can be seen to possess some sense of purpose. Okay. So you've come, adjutant. As you see, we must also blockade this town at once. You don't look well, but it's no surprise under these circumstances. You jest, Excellency. I have had my fill of seeing people drop from the plague. However, that is... It is another story for the Edo for Kingdom. Say what? A message writer just came from Windham. 
His Royal Majesty has succumbed to illness. Ah, uh, damn. King is dead. <laughs> right, we must regroup. Tell me the details along the way. What is going on here? This, these rats, bro. Ah, uh, damn. Oh, what is that? Ew, the rats. Are the rats like, uh, are they like part of a demon or something? So they're coming in to form one. That's crazy. Ooh. Oh my God, that's nasty. Anyways, let's move on. All right, part two, Revelations. What's going on here? We got Windham Castle. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's Charles' dad. It is. That's what I'm saying. Like, like you know what I'm saying? Like, I was thinking that it, that it is him because it is Midland. He's the king of Midland. So I'm guessing Charlotte is going to become the new queen because Charlotte, he's calling out for Charlotte. Court doctor, please hurry. Summon his kin. She don't want to have nothing to do with that man. For all I know, Charlotte should walk in the room and probably slit his throat herself. At long last, it is upon us. The birth of a new queen, Her Majesty Queen Charlotte's. But consider her disposition, there is hardly a chance she will not appoint a regent. Then those in candidacy are Home Minister Gustav, Financial Minister Hugo, perhaps even Royal Household Protocol Chief, Cariel. We must consider our plans for the future. What about former Home Minister Foss? Minister Foss? Hell nah. Hell nah, we don't want Minister Foss to be no damn regent. Get the fuck out of here. Minister Foss is a freaking snail. I told you guys he reminds me of of um of uh Little Finger from Game of Thrones. Just just lurking and just making plans. Whatever, you know what I'm saying? In a few years, continue here. In a few years since the Queen's assassination incident, the Honorable Foss has not fallen under any faction, as if he has feigned retirement. Every rumor says that this mediator of the former conservatives has seemingly become dispossessed of his powers. Good grief, they move keenly even before the sun finishes setting, or perhaps I should say, resolutely. Don't they understand what situation our kingdom is now placed in? They're all so busy with self-preservation schemes. When you can go several leagues from Windham and the dead lie in piles, no, even here below this castle. You know? Are the deaths of subjects nothing more than statistics? The hawk. The hawk will come again. I'm wondering if Griffith has been haunting the shit over them. I think the I think the hawk I think Griffith is the one flying around. He probably flying around taking out all these damn kingdoms and castles and shit and killing everybody. The hawk, that wanderer's dream. Everyone in Windham, no perhaps everyone in Midland, saw the wondrous dream of the Hawk of the Light. The priests clamored that it was God's revelation. They said it was a good omen, signifying the appearance of one who will save people from every calamity now wielding its menace. But His Majesty's f falling ill happened after the people began to talk of the dream. Not that one such as I could truly comprehend the will of God. It's a strange thought, but that the dream happened is the only unmistakably reality. A miracle has surely occurred. Your Highness, please open the door. Please open this door. What is the matter, Lord Owen? You see, the princess has confined herself in her chambers for a whole five days now. Even before that, she had not set one foot outside the palace in the past two years. She will only allow one person in, her favorite handmaid. We are presently trying to persuade her, but... Your Highness... I remember her. <laughs> Highness! She has... Oh, man. Charlotte still... She doesn't even know what happened to Griffith either. 
But pardon me, it's cruel. Reporting, Your Highness, a carriage has been prepared. Please hurry and come to the inner sanctuary. A single timid girl is made to bear the burden of everything. His Majesty is on the verge of death. He mumbles Your Highness' name in... The Highness, no, such a man isn't my father or anything. Hurry up and get it over with. Don't keep this torture going forever. Don't torment me anymore. It's cold, almost as if I'm freezing. The king on his throne. Magnificent castle walls, but I cannot defend against the cold this way. Stone walls merely augment the cold. Someone light a fire. On his throne. The king on his throne. Oh, valiant soldiers. With these men in these walls, my castle shall not waver. But for now, a fire. I shall freeze to death as this, at this rate. Enough of... Enough already. I have no need of soldiers now. Fire. Someone bring fire. Bring warmth. Oh, that's it. What I wish for warmth. On his throne, the king on his throne. What? What are you doing? Move. Move aside. My desire is... Was this... Is this a dream? I'm guessing. I don't know. What? Hawk, a hawk, stop that. Get away. That's my precious. Get away. She's the king's life. In the image of Griffith. <laughs> yes, perhaps it is so. Perhaps I saw it after, after you. As a rescuer to liberate me on his throne. A solitary man from this prison called a throne to madness. The king on his throne. Father, was she having the dream? I think so, Highness. No, no, save me, Lord Griffith. If only you knew what Griffith is now. His majesty has passed after so long. At a time like this, what's going to happen to Windham now and to Midland? The mountains are moving. Okay, who is this? On an elephant. Oh damn. Somebody showed up on an elephant. They're like, Blah out <laughs> Alright. Berserk. No way. Just one man. Just one man against a band of 300 mercenaries. Unbelievable. I knew it. I knew we shouldn't have taken this guy on. B -b Blame the boss. He was so hung up on getting famous, the legend was real. He's the god of the battlefield. The, the, the immortal. Z and they get beasted. <laughs> oh, she. He. So he didn't die. Okay, so he didn't die. I thought he died. Right? I thought he died. Didn't he die? He was spared. Just how many times have I scoured battlefields sitting on piles of corpses that I've made? Wandering for 300 years. I thought um, Nosferatu killed him. I thought so. I, I, unless I'm remembering incorrectly, this was so long ago. Wandering for 300 years. I guess seeking among men really is useless. I've stood before the apostles so many times, but somehow... They're no good. They cannot satisfy me. There really are none but you, wretch. That's what I'm saying. He survived because he's right here. He's talking about guts. I'm pretty sure he's talking about guts. So, oh, yes, that man, the branded swordsman. The rumors say he's cut down several apostles. He must now be somewhere creeping about in the night. In any event, my desired is just one thing. What's this? This is within your dozing. The dust between dream and consciousness. You're... You mean... Why? What you sought were not words. Immortal. Definitely. I seek only one thing. The strong. Any transform? Only the absolute strongest. 
he tries to grab why does he look like Nosferatu right now why does he look like Dodd so made no damn sense He looks just like Zod. I thought this was the one that... Zod... Was that Zod, though? Because I know when he transforms, he looks different and he can fly. Oh, damn. That dude, he cut your arm off. Your horns. Talking about your arm. Cut your horn off. Bruh, what is going on here? Is he... Did he just remember something? Is he remembering what happened? I guess. Dream. Was that a dream then? That's what I'm saying. He dreamed of something. I'm guessing this is this is Nosferatu and not the other dude that we met. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, let's take a break here. I have no idea, dude. I've been recording for the last, like, 10 minutes or so, and I didn't hit the record button. Um, so I'm going to have to read all of this over now. I I'm all the way down to the part where where Guts went back to go find out um, that Casca is missing. Shit! I'm going to have to read all of this shit all over again. Um... When the sky falls at the holy ground where blind sheep gather and erect a pillar of fire, it will come. The desired will come. Okay, so this makes sense now, in a way. No good. This place is the same. Every house is empty. There's no food or anything left. And the church is filled with dead bodies. Thanks to the plague, every place looks the same. Inside, there's swarming with specters. Now I can't even get decent sleep in the daytime. Why don't you go rest on that hill? You ain't slept in two days now. The ancient used that place to enshrine elves, so the incubi shouldn't let, shouldn't l like it enough to come near. And then he has, he has a dream, basically seeing Casca burned at the stake. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Okay, so did the incubi do that? And then his baby son or whatever, demon baby, showed up. You did it just now. Basically, danger. So it was warning him, telling that Casca is in danger somewhere. It's like, what are you trying to pull? Danger, danger, hurry. When the sky falls at the holy ground, blind sheep gather and erect a pillar of fire. Hurry quickly. So I'm guessing that both of them guess, get in this prophecy or whatever. Because it seems like Griffith approached, um, dude, I don't remember his name. At first, I was thinking it's Nesferatu, but, you know, they could just have look like each other, I guess. Um, but I think that's where they're going to meet up again. So, danger. Hold on. No. Did something happen to her? Right. So, Guts returns home. Right. It falls down like fluff. It dances likely down. Try to catch it. See how wondrous. Because it's snowing. <laughs> He got smacked like a mosquito. Yes, I caught something neat, Rickert. A chestnut head goblin, right? Guts returns. You got a bit taller, didn't you? It's like Rickert. Guts walks in. Welcome home, Erica. Good work. Thanks. You look a lot stronger. Didn't recognize you. Guts. Guts, you're alive. No word from you in two years. Where in the world and why? Sorry, Rickard. Before that, is she, is Casca, is Casca safe? What's wrong? Casca is, Casca is not here. What? What's that mean? What's that supposed to mean, Rickard? Why not? Since when? Where the hell? That's him. I did it. It's my fault. It's because I went and took her outside. Erica, it happened about a month ago. Casca had lived in the cave for so long, she was pretty sick of it. Lately, she'd gotten where she wouldn't even eat much. Erica couldn't stand seeing it, so she took her along to go pick fruit. Before I knew it, she was gone. I looked for her until the sun went down, but I couldn't find her. But Rickard, what are you doing here? You know full well how Casca is now, and yet here you are. Why aren't you out looking for her? Stupid guts. Stupid, stupid, stupid. 
What's the big idea? What about what you did? You went and left her here, and then you went off somewhere for two years. You don't even know how Rickard feels. He did go look for her again and again this past month. He went to look for her as much as he could, but Rickard came back to us. He came back home to us. There's a reason I can't leave, says Rickard. Oh, so that's the, the reason why he can't leave is because the old man, um, Godo, is sick. Too much noise. I can't even sleep. Godo, wipe that stupid look off your face. I hear you can't throw a rock without hitting a dead body down there. So what's so weird about seeing a half-dead old man or two? So Guts asks if it's the plague. And he said, nothing so special as all that. It's just old age. Old age. Just when I thought I'd have a quiet, peaceful death, the noisy idiot had come, had to come back. Well, you get to be here at my death. I guess God's being nice to you. So, enough of the long-winded speech. Let me see the sword and hand. He looks at the sword. Blade Nix, blood rust bends. Shouldn't be this way even after 10 years. This is going to take more than just a little elbow grease. You really make a blacksmith cry. You know that? I'm guessing that you swing and shoot too often to eat or sleep. You can't stay sane forever fighting that way. You don't say. <laughs> hey. Your face looks even more tense now than it did before. So if you didn't hate that much... You wouldn't even be able to stand up, huh? Two years ago, when Rickard rolled in here with the two of you busted up, I don't know what it was that happened to you all. Afterwards, when that monster came calling, I guess I had some clue what it could have been. So you're waging war against things like that? I can't even say for sure if that's the right thing to do, but worse... You do it for retaliation, for revenge. Listen, why you run away from war, from hatred? Is that what? Just listen. It's the ramblings of a dying old man. The thing about hatred, it's the place where people who can't look sorrow in the eye without wavering run off to. Even more than a blood-rusted sword, vengeance is something you soak and sharpen in blood. You sink the blade called your heart deep into blood in order to fix the next call sorrow the more you sharpen the more it rusts so you sharpen it again in the end all that's left is a pile of rust i like that i'm not gonna lie i, I kind of like that i'm gonna clip that real quick i love to clip stuff like this because a lot of times like as I said, man, you know, during the pain arc in Naruto, you hear a lot of this stuff sometimes. You know what I'm saying? During the pain arc, pain said a lot of stuff that are similar to this. Right? I know this is not the old, the whole thing, but I might. Um, yeah, so I'm going to clip that. Okay, so... Oh, come on. It ain't like you to lecture. You telling me to become a blacksmith or something? I wouldn't blame you if you wanted to. You've got some huge nicks in your heart. Damn cracks call fear running all through it. You don't know. You don't understand. In this cozy place, you're about to die with nothing left behind to regret. You don't get it. No one. No human understands that they died no one was left none of it made any sense suddenly unfairly like bugs without understanding anything they were all young they could have done something if they'd lived but still in an instant to me they were irreplaceable you abandoned those irreplaceable things you went alone on that day, two years ago, in your hopeless suffering, you left the last irreplaceable thing you had and went away by yourself. 
And that's the, that's the thing about it. Like, I didn't want Guts to leave. I understood why you wanted to leave. But I didn't want him to leave Casca behind because, dude, at this moment and in this time, that's more important. But revenge just became, you know what I'm saying, like the thing he goes for. And I do understand what Goto is trying to say to him because it's like, dude, you're forgetting everything else that's important for the sake of revenge. You know what I'm saying? For, for the sake of revenge. You were right beside those irreplaceable things yet you couldn't bear to immerse yourself together in sorrow with them so instead you ran away so that your own malice could burn inside you am i wrong all right so this is kind of like for me in a situation i could give you guys an example of something that to give you guys an example of something right um if you guys have been around this channel long enough and you look at my other content on the channel i did put out a video talking about my marriage because i was married for five years so and you know i don't like talking about or um you guys don't you, you guys don't know who it is i'm pretty sure in the future you'll probably find out who it is don't harass this woman okay but um by she was bipolar right she had a, a mental illness you guys should know what bipolar is so for me it's just like um the way how she was when she was not in her right mind, it was very heartbreaking, extremely heartbreaking. I could not have seen myself leaving her in that state. I wanted to be with her 24-7. It was extremely stressful, don't get me wrong, and it was hard. You get what I'm saying? Extremely stressful. I think out of everything I've been through in my life, I think that was the hardest thing I ever had to deal with in my entire life. And your boy has been homeless. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. That is nothing compared to dealing with someone who is bipolar that you love and you don't want to see suffer. Trust me on this when I tell you. I don't know. Even if I had other purposes, it was hard for me to leave her to go do anything else. It broke my heart. It broke me. I had to try to do things to kind of take me out of thinking about it because I was thinking about it 24 sevens and my throat is getting extremely dry <clears throat> i told you guys man i talk for a living so it's hard for me to sit down most times this is how my throat is feeling after i'm talking for a long time but i'm i'm gonna get through this don't worry right so for me for guts i never wanted him to leave but he's so consumed um but he's also torn so he's also torn because of Griffith and Casca. Should I leave her to go look for Griffith? Because that's his ultimate aim is to get to Griffith. That's his ultimate aim. And he felt like he was leaving Casca in safe hands because he can't get through to her. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't know what's really going on with her. You know what I'm saying? She has kind of lost her mind. I don't know if she'll ever get it back. You know what I'm saying? It's like you ran away so that your own malice could burn inside you. Do you have any place criticizing Rickert, who you left here? Do you have any place talking about revenge for your friends when you are the one who went off abandoning that girl here? At the critical moment, you go and choose yourself and rely on fighting. Very true. You're like a drawn sword on the battlefield, one with countless nicks soaked in blood and rust and i love this metaphor that he's given him with him being the sword you get what i'm saying him being the sword instead of an actual sword use him to help him to understand use a metaphor something that he can also relate to you know what i'm saying <clears throat> with a lethal crack in it a sword that's begun to break you know all right so new chapter hurry hurry this way this way see there What are these? They're graves. It's nowhere near the right number, but I made them as practice. And it's not like everybody's underneath here, but maybe it's some consolation. We did this all the time in the field, didn't we? Two years, plenty of time for a person to change. In the time I've gone on hating Rickert's done this, funerals to accept the death of his comrades, he found a new way to live through that vigorous strength of his. 
Still though, I'm amazed that the boy from back then would turn out to be Gut's friend. You hear I'm slowly losing my voice? What a shocker. <laughs> um, yeah, really, thanks to you, both Guts and Casca narrowly escaped dying then. I have you to thank for that. All lies within the casual current or something like that. I guess it's like we're all tied together by a red thread of destiny. Me too. No, not not red. By the way, you've been you've been cured uh your fear uh, elves yet? Ah, no, not yet. Then later on, I'll stake my life on treating you. Oh no, don't bother. What is this cave? It's the same as it was. This is definitely somewhere elves lived. No evil spirit's going to be able to sneak in here easily. I know that you're anxious, but rest well tonight. There's a lot to talk about, but for now, we'll hurry and repair your sword in hand. They look pretty abused, so we'll get them to where you can head out soon. Rickert, huh? What about me? What about what about me? What about me? You'll be cuddling with me. <laughs> uh, about earlier, huh? I'm sorry. No, no. I'm the one who's sorry. I got impatient too, but these two years being here, I've... Realize some important things. All right, then. Decrees, good night. It's no use. Even though I know I'm safe, there's no way I can sleep in the dark without a sword. No, ch no. Chances are I won't be able to sleep at night the rest of my life. You went alone? You were right beside those irreplaceable things, yet you couldn't bear to immerse yourself together in sorrow with them, so instead you ran away so that your own malice could burn within you. Can't stop dreaming about it. I didn't run away. I can't run, not from the last thing seared into my right eye. Fear, malice, I don't know possibly it's both, but I can never atone for this dark flame. If I can't atone, if I can't escape, all I can do is burn myself and my enemies with it. Oh wow, look at that. The blood must flow, so keep killing. It will still thirst forever, all alone, always. Maybe what, um, maybe what Godo said is right, though. What can I say now when I left her in a state like that? I've got no right talking about revenge for my comrades when I abandoned Casca, abandoned the band of the Hawk itself. You mean, former Raiders captain, I won't recognize it. I don't know if it was for some dream or what, but he left on his own. He wasn't here when things were at their worst for us. Think I can call someone like that a comrade? You've already separated yourself. There's no obligation for you to go that far. Take her with you, even if you have to drag her this time. If you don't, she, you fight your own battles, right? You have to go. Even if it's alone, you have to go. He's conflicted because there were so many different people telling him this or that or whatever. I'll, he's either, like for me, as I said, I don't think he should have left her. I think he should at least maybe bring her with him. But that's if she wanted to go with him at the same time. So it's like, that's right. Long ago, ever since then, I haven't had that right. I started this war myself. It's definitely different from what I had wished for then. But at least it's not like anyone forced me to do it. I declared this war myself. But, but still. Friends, what's burning me ain't just this black flame. The campfire from those days still burns in my chest. Hmm. 
That's right. Wasn't this last feeble flame left to me? All that barely kept me from being consumed by the black flame. What have I done? Did I again? Did I go and do it again? You mean, did I lose something? Before I even noticed it again? Again, without even knowing, without even realizing, I've thrown it from the palm of my hand. When the sky falls at the holy ground, blind sheep gather, and a pillar of fire erect. No, not yet. The flame, it's not yet blown out. Not yet. It's not too late. This time, I swear, I'll never lose her again. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about right there. All right. Next chapter. Bird ceremony chapter to holy ground. Okay. Woo. You sure do work hard. Hi. Weren't you asleep? Well, I was, but at the rate I would have been eaten. Your shoulders are stiff. My elf does, does wonders. Uh, no thanks. Can I help with anything? I don't look it, but I'm handy. No, I'm fine. But Puck... I really am grateful for you. For, for what? Since Master Goto fell hill, and then since Casca went missing, Erica hasn't laughed once. It's thanks to you that she had so much fun today. Uh, not at all. Well, kids are especially good at enjoying themselves. Then there's Guts, eh? When Guts rushed out of here, I had this ominously bad feeling. Of course, I was worried about whether he could survive and I get to see him again, but I also worried about whether he'd no longer be the guts I knew. He came back, though, and of course, some small things had changed, but he looked furious and got worried about Casca. So guts is still guts, the way I used to know him, and I think you had more than a little to do with that, I'm sure. The reason Guts can still laugh is because you're together with him. Uh, now I'm all embarrassed. You, you said it with such a straight face. <laughs> all right, I'll power up and help too. I've got a built-in drill and cutter. The blacksmith's elf, not the shoemaker's, hey? Eh? Every damn time he shows up, he drags some other weird thing in with him. Master, dressed like that, what are you doing? There's stuff I've got to do while I've still got the strength to stand. Stop, that's absurd. Let me... Shut up, Rickert. Erica's your responsibility. About her, she ain't my real daughter. Oh, snap. She's an orphan who lost her family in the war. Not that that's rare these days, but I happened to pass by right when she'd been burned out of her house and was crying... So on a whim, I brought her home and raised her. It weren't like me at all. It let me, it let me, who'd know nothing but steal since the day I was born, feel pretty well human. But then, sure enough, when it's time to die, it's good to fall forward alone. Master, a good sword, even if it rusts and dulls, as good steel that never rusts left over in the wick that steals the ultimate steel, even if it cracks. If you return to the fire, it's sure to be reborn. All right. This tell, tell this to that fool. Don't turn out like me. He's ready to go. Gotta go look for Casca. How's your new armor? The master. The master had it ready for when you came back. Yeah, it's lighter than it looks. And it feels good. I've also got these new weapons. I invented that use... I invented that use gunpowder and new model... And a new model repeating bowgun. Even if you don't put them all together at once, you'll get the hang of them... Soon enough. Wow, good stuff. By the way, Guts, you say you're going to look 
for Casca, but do you know how? Searching randomly could take forever. Well, about that. Do you happen to know of anywhere called Holy Ground around here? At the Holy Ground, blind sheep gather. Or else, how to say it, some place where sheep shepherds are crowded together? Holy Ground, mm, gather of shepherds? Was there some place like that? Come to think of it, if you follow the high road northeast from about three, for about three days, there's an old monastery called St. Albion Temple. I don't know why, but it's referred to as the Tower of Conviction. Maybe that's the place. The Tower of Conviction? And I don't know about shepherds, but I hear right now that place is overflowing with refugees from the plague. From what I heard, heretics are mixed in with the refugees, and an inquisitor will be dispatched by the Holy See before long. Put short, it's going to be a witch trial. Ah, oh, shit. I think the chances of Casca being there are slim. In her state, I don't think she can make it that far away, and first of all, there's no basis. There is a basis. There's a basis. It's grasping at straws. But for now, I have to believe it. So beyond me, but a lot's happened for him to make this face. What kind of woman's this Casca? Okay, I'm off. Guts. Take care of Casca, then be sure to come back here. Goro, you're a good blacksmith. I'll count on you again once I come back. Daddy, you've got to get some rest, so you say. Worthless fool. Alright, so Guts is off again. Eh, off he goes without even a look back. That's how it is with that fool. This might be our final parting, but you haven't even got time to stop and acknowledge it. Well, it's a lot better than getting all gloomy. He turns and starts running towards something one way without, notice, without noticing some other thing nicks himself. It really is beyond our control. Beyond our control. Living and dying. All right, we're back with Farnese. I see one month previous. This is one month previous. This feels like the migration of nations. It seems it's not just plague and famine that produced this huge number of refugees. According to information delivered by the Holy See a bit ago, several days prior, a large Christian military host from the far east crossed the mountain range and invaded Midland. At present, it's uncertain whether the prominent nobles in the royal city Windham or even the next queen, Princess Charlotte, seemingly de um, debilitated by grief over the king's death or alive or dead, are alive or dead. That goes to show misery loves company, impotence. But if that is the case, would not it mean big trouble? The Albion Monastery we are headed towards is under direct control of the Holy See, but nevertheless it is near the Midland border. Are not the Cushion an old enemy of our religion? Is this the time for such a carefree inquisition? If anything about the situation changes, subsequent reports should arrive from the Holy See. Until then, we may simply remain silent and undertake the mission given to us. Lady Farnese is in a worse mood than usual. Do you suppose it is because she was relieved of the duty of arresting the black swordsman? Just what on earth is the meaning of this? After spending two whole years, you were supposed to have captured the black swordsman, yet you let him slip away. What's more, you suffered casualties attempting to capture but one man, and not just one or two losses. Yes, but... My holy iron chain knights are in fashion, yet an army. Sometimes there can be losses in battle. You don't seem to understand. The holy iron chain knights are different from ordinary heathen forces. They are a symbol of the authority, so to speak, of the Holy See, God's earthly mouthpiece. No. Then you mean we are just an orn ornamentation? Mind your tongue. What insolence. We mean its ex existence is highly ceremonial. I wonder if you realize what type of martyrs they were who died on your last mission. Nearly all sons of high nobles from several countries. Fortunately, you yourself are of the world-renowned Vandemion family, which boasts of great fortunes. Based on your father's good words, we were somehow 
able to settle the matter amicably, but there were no small number who stated that they were through giving donations to the Holy See. Why is it established that the leader of the Holy Iron Chain Knights is traditionally a maiden, and finery is all well and good, perhaps there is some margin for consideration? I want to know why the hell she, of all people, is leading. It's not, it's not even about a, it's not even a woman thing. It's just why is she doing it? She is terrible. She closes her eyes when she fights. Like, come on. In any case, the proposal of the task of arresting the Black Swordsman was yours, personally, with consequences of this nature, we have no choice but to suspend it. We will declare a new mission to you at a later time. If it isn't as if the Black Swordsman has been substantially confirmed to be the same thing as the Hawk of Darkness described in the Revelations, having read the written report regarding that matter, the Miracle Recognition Department has need for you to investigate something. You are, you are dismissed. At any rate, this is no time for the Black Swordsman. Truly, we must hurry to establish a discourse regarding this Hawk of Light, dream of which we have recently received reports from each land of our religion. Many, even within the Holy See itself, are reported experiencing it. Reality seen through one's own eyes is better than the confines of conjecture. Miracle becoming reality is what first bestows power, and controlling the recognition of that power is our obligation. Miracles, the hawk of light, I've seen no such thing. Miracles. Is something wrong? It's nothing. Don't think of it. There's no way that was reality. So she still don't believe, couldn't have. Don't think of it. It's an illusion. It didn't exist. Right now, just focus on the duty of God and the Inquisitor. Even if God does not express any miracles through me, just so long as I carry out my fate, that promise, that promise is peace in my heart. You're too far from God. <laughs> That's not true. I Looks like it is not just released from that duty, but still a new mission. Who would have thought it would be to guard him? Who would have thought it would be... To guard him, it would be dispiriting even were it not Lady Farnese. Clear it away. Look out. That's one huge carriage. Damn it, who do they think they are? Don't go shooting your mouth off. A huge white carriage armored with steel plate. No mistaking. No mistaking it. That's the Inquisitor's wagon. Inquis that's... It ain't just any Inquisitor either. See those four red wheels hoisted above the carriage? That's the token of bloody scripture, Mosgoose. Bloody scripture, Mosgoose. Mosgoose. The wheel impaling stake. Simon. The wheel impaling stake, burning water torture. No less than 500 people have been put to death under his judgment. And many times that number have lost their lives during torture. Those numbers are just like war. What's more, they say that once you're in his grasp, a single mole can make you witch or heretic. He's the most famous and feared inquisitor the world over. For that alone, I'm sure he's the target of lots of spite and malice. Enemy attack! Die, Mosgoose, my daughter, my son, this is for my murdered family. You pay. <laughs> oh, my God. They've broken through our flank. The refugees bar us from approaching. You know, they want this to do his head. Get out here, Mosgoose. Oh, damn, you stepped into. You, you are dead. <laughs> Claw to the face. Who is this guy? Bruh, w w what happened? What the? What the hell is that? What is that? Yo. Yo, what? What is going on? What is this guy? Is he like a... Bruh. My God. Ah. What? What are these guys? Yo, these guys don't play no games. They got these torture weapons. Yo! Ooh, gracious, what a noisy affair.
Yo, these guys are what, like executioners or something? And they got this freaking emblem. I think they're going there to do something. I don't know. Yo, why does this guy look like a torture? The Lord doth revere silence. Father Mos Goose, are you uninjured? Miss Farnese, I beg your forgiveness. I was foolish enough to allow an attack. No, no, you need not be so humble. Please raise your heads. Our Holy Father is magnanimous towards his own. More importantly, it is a blessing that none from the Holy See became casualties. That is God's divine protection. You are most gracious. We shall endeavor earnestly from here on. But Father Mos Goose... Who are these? Ah, these are my devoted torturers with wills of iron long cultivated by strict discipline and duty. They are very useful to me in this time of crisis. Dubious. They seem most reliable. Now line the party of attackers up here. So I would hear the reason you attack me. Revenge. You accused our village of being a refuge for heretics. And while the men were working away from home, you burned all the remaining villagers to death. Women and children, no one was left. It is certainly a misfortune that such a thing happened, but I was following God's doctrine in that I passed judgment, fearly. What was fear about About it? All we did was suggest that we temporarily suspend our offerings to the church, since our food stores had hit rock bottom from the famine, and you arbitrarily, it's divine punishment, God's wrath is upon you? Punishment. Punishment. Holy shit. You dare speak of punishment? This man's about to kill you with the Bible, my guy. <laughs> Yo, you misguided fool. Yo. This man just killed a man with a book. Of all things, an apostate who rebel. Who rebels against a priest speaks of divine punishment. His face changed real quick though. People such as you all know. No one on earth besides we of the Holy See. None of you have any place presuming to be God's mouthpiece. Miss Farnese. What manner of action thus thou feel is appropriate for these? Those who would plot to murder a priest? Usually warrants burning or breaking on the wheel. Categorically answered, just what I would expect from the glorious leader of the Holy Iron Chain Knights. Splendid insight. I am grateful. <laughs> Moreover, they are flagrant delictors. They have no defense. And we are pressed for time and cannot waste it on involvement with them. By my authority, I pass summary judgment upon them here. The sentence... All of the accused are condemned to death by the wheel. Load of crap. No, no, have mercy. I'm going to kill you. Go to hell. Forgive me. Oh, damn. Forgive me. Stop. Stop it. Yo. This man is just he crushing hands, heads with this thing. Damn. Are you smiling? She is smiling. Bruh, what? Yo! You can't, bro, look at this. Next, atrocious. Help me. Oh, damn, that's Casca. Why is Cosk? What? Is this some... Hey, if you do that, you'll get involved too. What do you think you're doing? Girl, are you in league with him too? Come here. Wait, she's got nothing to do with this. He just... Shut up. Oh shit, so... She... So this was... This was a month ago. So this is how they, ca they caught... This is how Casca ended up in the situation she's in. It's like, what? She's crazy. Come on, have mercy. You don't go for revenge if you're not ready to die. My name's Luca. Are you okay? Still, this is so gruesome, it's making me sick. When I think I'm going to, 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 
the same place they are, it makes me want to head back to my own plague-ridden village. Bro, look at this, man. Bruh. Wow. Come on. How long are you going to stand there? Staring at it will just make you ill. Come on. This way. Oh, man. Whoa. Guys. Yes. Let me stop this here. Make sure you guys from Patreon go ahead and check out the review when it drops, man. I appreciate y'all. Love y'all, man. This one took a little bit of time for me to get through, but we did get through. See you guys for the, for the review. All right, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back. Yes. Berserk Volume 17, man. That was something, to say the least. That was something. Loving this, loving this, loving this story, man. And that's why I don't want to, I also don't want to rush to, I don't want to rush through it. I know you guys want to see more and more me doing more read-throughs, more read-throughs, and more read-throughs. But I also don't want to rush through this story because I also want most of the stuff that I'm intaking to be settled, marinated, you know what I'm saying, so I can divulge the information better and have a better perspective on it um, as we move on. And I can say this is one of the... I have to say, man, this story, I can understand why Berserk is a very beloved manga, maybe considered the goat of mangas, because it's just so well done. You get what I'm saying? Like, stuff that you think will just get passed by, you know what I mean? You know, I didn't think they were actually going to show us What's going on with Casca? How she got captured or whatever the situation is. Is she really in danger right now? Not at the moment right now is what they're showing. But I guess that's going to be revealed in the next volume, right? So, um, I guess they're going to show us ent the entire timeline up until maybe Guts gets there. Maybe. But the most intriguing thing about this chap chapter, which I always try to pick out something very significant... Um, to talk about in my review, I mean, we can talk about the whole, the transition and, and this prophecy, um, that the son came to warn guts about, um, we could talk about all of that, but the most intriguing thing to me is when he returned to the place where Casca is supposed to be, where Rickard, the conversations that went on there, especially the conversation between guts and Godo, that's the most impactful thing in this volume to me. Because it talks about a lot of stuff that I didn't expect from this story. You know what I'm saying? I thought it was just a, a, a um, not just a, a story of revenge, but a very calculated revenge. As the reason why I say calculated revenge is because it's not just so surface level. It's revenge, but it's not so surface level to the point where like, okay, this is just a typical revenge story. It is not that by far. We understand this. So it just adds on that layer of giving you a perspective of, you know, what hatred means. How hatred can drive a person to even forget what they even have. You get what I'm saying? And, and, and that's one of the things that we as humans, we struggle with so much. I know I struggle with it because... A lot, there's a lot of things, and that's why I will always tell people that Naruto, it just, it holds a special place to me, and it's not because, you know, I kind of grew up watching it, it was like my introduction into anime and stuff like that, it's not just because of that, the story in Naruto is such a good story, I don't care what people want to say, oh, there's plot soul, there's plot soul in practically every story in the history of stories, uh, you get what I'm saying in, in in its completion, unless it's not done. You get what I'm saying? You're going to find plot holes. You're going to find things that aren't explained immediately and is explained later. Or there's a callback, a flashback, or whatever, whatever you want to call it, to that moment. And you're going to say, ah, oh, that's what that means. So for me, you know what I'm saying? With Naruto, a lot of things that I've learned, I've learned about, you know, 
the true meaning behind a friendship. A lot of people might look at this, oh, Naruto was gay for Sasuke. Even to this day, people still think Naruto is was gay for Sasuke. And it wasn't, it, it nah. I never looked at the story like that. This was just a story about friendship, but a way deeper friendship where I think friendship should be. That's where friendship should be. When you hear people talk about, you know, if you know, if you want to take this on a religious route and say, okay, um, why do God love me? Why does he love me? Why does Jesus love me? Why do, you know, Allah, whatever you get what I'm saying? If you want to go that route, right. And you are contemplating, you are asking these questions is like, I can't see you, but I'm hearing all this good stuff about you. You love me. Why do you love me so unconditionally? I do bad stuff every day. I do, you get what I'm saying? And that to me is the mark of what true friendship is. I'm going to love you no matter what. That's the reason why people say your spouse is your best friend because at um, unconditional love should exist within that realm. You get what I'm saying? It should exist. And that's what it creates. It creates one of the greatest friendship, the, 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 the meaning, the biggest meaning of friendship. That's what it represents is having that unconditional love. No matter what they do, I'm going to still try to save you from that. You get what I'm saying? Yes. Sasuke is a very selfish person at first. You get what I'm saying? He was extremely selfish. He had one mission. He wanted to kill his brother. He had one mission. And that revenge, that hatred drove him from everybody that cared about him, forgetting, doing exactly what Guts did, which is leaving what the remains. Yes, he murdered your entire clan. We get it. All of that stuff is understandable. It's sad. It's, it's all of that, right? But at the same time, you have friends, you have Sakura that cares so much about you. You have Naruto that cares so much about you. You have all these new friends. You have a teacher in Kakashi that cares so much about you, right? But you still leave all of that behind to seek power to kill your brother. You get what I'm trying to say? So it's kind of like the same situation with Guts. And that's what Goto was trying to explain to him is that you leave all this ir irreplaceable stuff to go look for vengeance, to go for for your friends, for the band of the heart that got destroyed by the eclipse, right? So ultimately he wants to get to Griffith and I'm with him. I want him to go on that journey. Just like I was, I wanted Sasuke to go on that journey, but at what cost? At what cost? It costed you friends. It costed the, the rest of the, 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 the people that you came up in school with to not look at you as a comrade anymore. And the one person, well, two people that you were on a team with, they never gave up on you. That's the mark of true friendship. It's the mark of true friendship because people are going to lose their way. People are going to start acting up. I use the example of a marriage, your wife, your husband, they're going to start acting up. There are going to be things that they, that you don't like about them. There are going to be all these things, but unconditional love should shine through that. But when you're just so blindly following hatred, that's what that's divorce happens because all of a sudden now we can't have any good communication because, you know, shit happens and we're not looking past that. We're not looking past that to say this should not break us. This should not mean that we can't move forward. I'm not talking about, we're not going to put the idea of cheating and all that stuff because that stuff is deal breakers. I don't think, you know what I'm saying? You're going into a relationship knowing that that's a deal breaker. I don't think people should stay together after cheating. I think that's, that's the dumbest shit you could ever do as a man or a woman to stay with somebody that has cheated on you. It's dumb. It's stupid. You need to go your separate way. Trust is completely broken after that. I don't care what nobody says. I don't care. I don't care what nobody says about forgiveness and blah, 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 and all of this other stuff. Nigga, you cheated. And it ain't because of me. You made a choice. You made a choice to go out there and sleep with somebody else. Yeah, you, we could have had a communication. You could have said, hey, you suck in bed. You know, get your game up. Else... You know, you know, this is a deal breaker. You could, you could do that, even though it shouldn't, but you could do that. But instead of talking to the person and telling them 
they suck. You get what I'm saying? You decide to just go out there and satisfy your own needs. So how should I trust you after this? How do I know that another five years from now, you're not going to do the same shit again? How? How? Because you promised me? No. Yes. There's some things, there are some things that are inexcusable when it comes on to having a true bond with somebody. There's things that can break that bond, but Naruto never allowed anything that, that Sasuke did, right, to break that bond. Let's have a real nigga conversation. You know what I'm saying? That's what he was all about. Eventually, I'm going to beat the living shit out of you until you come to your senses. So, for me, that was the most um, interesting thing about this um, volume is that conversation. I love what Godo was saying to him because at least he'll have that in his mind now, understanding that you need to consider the people that you are leaving behind, these people who are rooting for you. They're not going to stop you from getting your revenge, but you also got to consider the fact that these people, you got to take care of this business first. They're here for you. Why not stay here and settle this shit? You get what I'm saying? And settle for a while Maybe, you never know, you might have Casca to come along with you on the journey. You don't know. That stuff can wait. Regardless, it can wait. It always can wait. We might say, oh, I can't wait, I gotta do it now. It always can wait. Yes, you're still gonna have to deal with the demons and stuff like that that's always troubling you. You're gonna have trouble sleep. But the thing about Guts is that he's only comfortable and he, he's only, like, I think, I think, um... Wasn't that like the first time in a while that he had like some good sleep was when he was with Casca? I think if I remember correctly, right? So I think it's good for him to be around her, but he's so consumed, man. And I, I really do understand him and I really do understand everybody's feelings towards this. You know what I'm saying? Guts is always going to be Guts. And that's why I said he's one of the most complicated or hard to figure out characters that I've ever come across. And... I'm loving it. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, it's your boy, Terabyte Reacts. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to comment and subscribe if you're new. You guys have been killing it. I think we're doing like about every, every one, you know what I'm saying? We're doing around like, you know, like four to 500 views on this. So I know you guys are watching it. Okay, so appreciate y'all. I will see you guys for the next one, man. Peace.